Hi, my name's David, and I'm here to show you how to create a landing page in Descara CRM Plus. So let's go to Landing Pages. Inside here, I can see the name, visitor status, the direct link. I can click the pencil icon to edit or the trash icon to delete. I can click here, and if I want to add additional columns, I can put in the column name. Under Property Type, I can select whether it's a text, number, email, date, select, or multi-select field. I can also click Filter, and then I can add a new filter here. And I can filter by name, visitor status, or direct link, or any custom fields that I've created. Let's click New Page. Inside here, I can see all the pre-created templates. And if I want to create my own, I can just click here, Blank Template, or I can start from scratch. But let's select a pre-created template. Inside here, I can see different elements I can add. For example, text, button, image, video, logo, icon, uh, collection, gallery, image and text, form, social link, custom HTML. And I can see what our form looks like here. And if I want to, I can click on it and I can change the images. So if I click here, I can select my image, for example, a flower. And now it's updated. I can also click here. I can click on the pencil icon. I can start making changes to the text. I can also go here and I can click on the trash icon to delete it. I can click on the button. Inside here I can see the web URL that I want to send it to. For example, maybe I can put in the button title. I can change the color. So for example, if I want to change the color of the font, so for example, maybe green, or maybe I want it to be red. So I can change it to whatever I'd like. I can change the size. I can do left, center, or right. I can go down and I can see here the features and I can see these different images here and the information. So for example, let me click. So bold online testing. So you can see I can just change it. For example, so I can update, I can click on this icon and I can change it. So for example, so you can see I can easily change the picture to however I'd like. I can see what people say. And I can just drag things up and down based upon what I want. I can also go here and just add in different information as well. For example, logos. Maybe I want to add the logo. I see my logo here. And then I can go and I can edit it. And I can always add new items. As you can see. I can add a title. For example, and then I can just delete it. I can add metadata. This is where I can put in the title. I can also add in the canonical URL and I can choose a favicon. So for example, let's choose a favicon, open, let's save it. I'm also able to add in scripts so I can input script here and this is for head of the web page or I can input script here and this is for body of the web page and then I can click save. Then I can scroll up here and I can see this is what it looks like on the web. I can see what it looks like on the tablet and I can see what it looks like on the phone. If everything looks good, I can save and proceed. Inside here, I can then add in my domain. Do I want to use my default domain or do I have my own domain? So I can click add your domain. Then I can put in the domain here and click add. But since I don't have a domain, I'm just going to add in the default domain and click save. Now I have a direct link. So I can copy the link, paste it. 
And now I'm at my landing page, and I can see what it looks like. And now I can go back to the landing page list. I can also update directly here on the landing page the name. Now let's go click on the pencil icon and edit our landing page. Now what I want to do is add in a form. So let's click form. And you can see my form has been added. You can just drag this on up. I can click on it and just like when you're creating a form under forms, under landing pages, we can select the segment. For example, maybe new customers. And then I can select which fields. For example, maybe size of company, date of birth, additional information. I can save that and then I can just drag and drop it to wherever I want. So for example, date of birth, I want to maybe move it on up. Uh, size of company, maybe a little bit higher. Actually move that up there. And maybe I don't want phone number. And I want email to be mandatory. Date of birth doesn't need to be. And then everything looks good. I can go down here. I can change the thank you message. And I can also input the redirect URL. I can change the color of the button. So for example, maybe I want it to be black. I can also change the color of the text. So for example, if I want it to be green, I can make it green. I can also change what the button says. I can change the position, add padding and margin. So you can add a form directly to your landing page. After that, we can save and proceed. And let's go back to the landing page list and let's test it out. So let's click here. And now we're at our landing page. I can see life is good. Go to Descara. If I click here, it should direct me to Descara. Now if I go back down, I can input our information here. For example, maybe David Niori. Put in the email address. I can select the date of birth. So for example, let's see. Size of company, additional information. I like weekends. And I can click here. Thank you for submitting your form. So you can see that's been shown here. And if I go now to my Descara and I click on my contacts, you can see it's been updated. So you can add in forms directly to your landing page. And that was a quick look at how to create landing pages in Descara CRM Plus.